Hey everybody, so here it is. This is the final video of section six. Um, it's going really fast because I have like four hours of video to cram into, you know, only a few minutes. And there's a lot to show, to be honest. Uh, this has been an interesting section, so this was all about putting the skin on. Um, I had no mistakes except for just a second ago. I think right there I had to drill one rivet out because as I riveted it, um, I didn't quite get the, I pushed the bar, the bucking bar up too far. And so the rivet kind of got stuck halfway between and there was just no way to fix it other than to, to, uh, drill it out. Thankfully, I think that only happened twice. Uh, also, during this video, I tried to give as many different views as possible. Uh, again, I'm still learning here, so part of that process is figuring out exactly where to put the camera and what to show. Um, but it's also a lot of just wash, rinse, repeat, the same thing over and over again, so uh, it's kind of boring. Sorry. Um, but you can see here I'm, I'm constantly... Uh, riveting and that's what they look like um, all of the rivets look like that uh, the dimpler made a perfect indent and the rivet fit in it perfectly um, and then I just have to do that ad nauseum <laughs> every single hole is a new rivet and as you can imagine there are a lot of them uh, it's important that the underside looks good and this is what they look like on the inside you can see where my bucking bar scraped against the uh, the paint uh, so I'm gonna have to go back and clean some of that up but eh, you know hey that's minor um, it actually reminded me some of the military aircraft I've looked at it looked very similar which which kind of made me chuckle uh, but yeah this has been a really good process uh, I've had a lot of fun with this the most awkward part about doing this is that you have to unclico the bottom portion of the aluminum there so that you can kind of lift it up and stick your arm in there and, you know, use a bucking bar, but you don't have a lot of room and you don't want to lift it up too far because if you do, you'll end up creasing your aluminum, which that's not good. Um, but there is enough room. I was just, I was hesitant at first. I didn't want to, uh, unclico, which is, you know, where the, the, the rib that I'm putting back just there, I didn't want to unclico that. And there's just no way to do it without unclicoing it. Uh, then the squeezer came into its own yet again. You can see here, I'm using the squeezer to, uh, do the very top and God, it just makes his life easy. All right. Now we do the other side. And this is what the other side ended up looking like. You can see how clean uh, all of those rivets look. The squeezer is just beautiful. I mean, it just does everything for you. And as long as you have it shimmed correctly, uh, I can't imagine a better result. I used the squeezer everywhere I could. Um, in this case, it was, you know, I had to lift a little of the skin to, to be able to, to squeeze those sides. Um, and then, of course, to get... The one in the middle, I couldn't use the squeezer, so I had to uh, change back to the, the bucking bar and do it the old-fashioned way. But, uh, yeah, I would say if you can use the squeezer, God, you get one. They're fantastic. Um, but, yeah, this, is, uh, this has been an interesting process. Uh, I have several different uh, jaws for the squeezer, and I highly recommend getting at least... Uh, the one that comes with it is kind of narrow, but it's also got one that's got slightly longer uh, throw so that you can kind of stick it up and over things a little better. And they make one that's ludicrously long, which I don't think you'll need one that long. The majority of the work you're going to do is like this here where you've got all the room in the world uh, and you don't have to worry about it. And anywhere where you can't use the squeezer, most likely it's because it's in the middle of a rib in the middle of the skin. And so... You know, there's no squeezer in the world is going to be able to do that. You got to do that by hand, anyways. Okay. So those are all the ones I'm supposed to do on that side. I'll flip it around and go the other. Once I flipped it around, I, I got this notion in my head that I wanted to give you guys a better idea of what the squeezer was like kind of close up and so that's what these views are I'm trying to get the camera a little closer so you can see how just trivial it is to use uh, put it on put the thing over or you know and squeeze that's it 
and here I'm going to give you a, a couple of real-time views of uh, two squeezes just to show you exactly how easy it is, how long it takes, and how painless. I mean, this is just great. I promise this is the last video that I'll just gush over the squeezer. It just, it just made my life easy, and I really like that, and I, I can't recommend it enough. I know I keep saying that. And there they are. Very nice, very clean. Uh, good looking rivets. And this is the home stretch. So these are the last rivets uh, being put into this part for this section. Uh, obviously in another section there's a couple more rivets that have to be put in, but uh, here we go. Um, and I figured the best way to do this, or I found the easiest way to do this was to mount it uh, sort of on my desk, and I'm on the phone, by the way. I did this whole, this is so easy, I did it on the phone. Uh, but yeah, I, I found the best way to do it was just to mount the whole thing to the back of my desk over there, and then uh, rivet them one at a time, and it's, yeah, it was pretty cool. Also, I did steps eight and nine here at the same time. Uh, eight is the first 20 or so rivets and the nine are all the rivets uh, that are on that part of metal that you had to cut uh, I think 10 14 left and right and by the way the documentation for step nine is incorrect it tells you to use a 4-4 uh, and it should be a 4-4.5 so pay attention there uh, I flip to the other side and I just burn through it and there we go that's it um, so next time, it's on to the actual rudder itself. So that's the next part. Uh, looking forward to it, and that'll be posted in a couple days. Good stuff, guys. See you next time.